One of the things that makes card hop so powerful on your iPhone is the power in this search bar, or as they call it, the parser. Of course, you can search names out if you want, but it doesn't stop just there. You can search specific information. Typing in phone gives me Rosalind's phone number. You can also add information to a contact from the same bar. Let's say we're going to add Rosalind's email address. I've typed in an email in relation to this contact that Cardhop doesn't find on the contact. So it's giving me the option to update the contact and add that information. I'll go ahead and tap that button. And then I can tap on the contact and you can see her email is now there. Going back to the search bar. I'm going to type the name of another contact. And now I'm going to add their birthday. And when I've done that, it sees that Gunther doesn't have a birthday in the system, but it's offering to update the contact with that information. Again, if I go in, you'll see there it is. Another cool trick with the search bar is the ability to add a contact to groups. So as soon as I typed FRI, it figured out I was trying to add him to my friends group. I'll update the contact. And now if I go into Gunther's contact card, you'll see that he is on my friend list. You can also act on your contacts. For instance, you can call someone. I just typed call Gunther. It recognized call as a verb. And before I even finished Gunther's first name, it gave me an action button to call him up. You can also do things like email people or start Skype conversations. Uh, one that's really useful is copying data. So I'll say copy Lynette. And then I'm just going to tap on her phone number. And now I've copied her phone number to my paste buffer, which is really useful when I'm using this data in other applications. There's also some action buttons across the bottom, which you can change with this ellipses button here. You tap that, you can add things to it. Like I'm going to add copy to clipboard. And then you've got these action buttons across the bottom. So you don't even have to type the words. Like if I want to get directions to Lynette, I can just tap the map button and then type her name in. And then it's going to give me directions to Roswell, New Mexico. The more you use this search bar, the more impressed you're going to be and the more uses you're going to find for it. And the last tip I'd give you here is when you've got a minute, click on the show all button at the bottom of this list. I'm going to go ahead and tap it right now. And you'll see there's a whole list of potential actions you can do through that search bar. And it's got samples so you can see exactly how it works. And it's just a great way to get even better at using Cardhop. For nearly all of your contact work, using Cardhop's search bar is going to be as far as you need to go. Download the app today and check it out.